You know, they, they know exit in hell. And if you were thinking that there's an exit in hell, that means that if you went, if you, if you went to hell, hallelujah, and you know, all of a sudden you change your mind about why you are here in hell, and you say, oh, I changed my mind. No, my friend, you in hell because of the lifestyle you live. You in hell because you damn God. You in hell because you didn't believe in God. You in hell because you didn't believe in the Bible. You in hell because, glory to God, you decided to live the life that you think is right. Not a life according to the word of God. So you in hell because you think that the life you live is the life that, glory to God, you ought to live. My friend, I stopped by to tell you, my friend, there is no exit in hell. You can't go to hell and then say, oops, I'm in the wrong place. He coming out. No, my friend, you won't be there for eternity. And you can't say God is a mean God. God is a monster. He's no monster because he's given all the opportunity. He given us his son and his son is Jesus. Hey, glory to God. So they know exit in hell. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, there's no exit in hell. The only exit is right now, my friend, when you go through your, your, your door in your house and come back to your house, that's an exit. But in hell, there's no exit. And the God to my right, my friend, the only reason why you say that God is a monster, because you think that in hell, it should be an exit. No, my friend, it's like a person that commit a crime. He go to jail and he, and he gonna, the consequences that he gonna pay for the crime that he committed is just like God, my friend. God is a just and a loving God. God gave, sent us Jesus Christ to die for our sins. He go to God, what? To die for our sins. So we won't make the mistake of when we die, we go straight to hell. God give us a way to escape. The way to escape is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the Whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So the God to my right, and the reason I'm using this analogy, my friend, because God is a loving God. The Bible says, Great love hath no man this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever, I command you. So God gives us a commandment of love. Hey, go to God. I'm so glad, my friend, we are not in the old dispensation. The old dispensation will kill the witches. The old dispensation will slaughter all the witches. Because the Bible says, Suffer not a witch to live. What I'm saying to you, my friend, there's no exit in hell. Right now, you should not be thinking about going to hell because once you're in hell, you ain't getting out. And we look at the Bible of Luke, the 16th chapter, verse 1931. The Bible says this man went to hell and he asked the Father Abraham, Father Abraham, and we come back to Father, Father Abraham, send somebody up there, glory to God, so I can tell him that this place called hell is real. What I'm saying to you is watching my video, my friend. I'm telling you that hell is real. Why hell is real? Because the Bible talk about hell. The Bible talk about how not to go to hell, how to escape hell. A lot of people, my friend, they live in a world of fantasy. They live in a world of fabrication. They live in a world, my friend, of myth, mythology. But God want us to realize that there's no exit in hell. If you die in your sin, my friend, you're going to hell. Hey, well, I say, if you damn God, you're going to hell. The Bible say, glory to God, you got to be believe to be baptized and believe not, you're going to be damned. Damn mean eternal damnation. So if you are listening to this video, I'm telling you how, glory to God, not to go to hell. How not to go to hell? You got to believe in God. How, to, how not to go to hell? You got to live the life of a Christian. How not to go to hell? You got to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. So I'm telling you, my friend, why people are going to hell because people don't believe God. How you believe everything else? You believe scientists. You believe the president. You believe the millionaire, the trillionaire, but you don't believe the one that woke you up this morning. Why people don't believe in God? My friend, they don't exit in hell.